Hi, everybody. You know, I don't know about you, but this whole new decade is really not off to a good start. I mean, things are not at all turning out like we had planned. Whether something has happened to you or to a loved one, we've all been impacted negatively in one way or another. And maybe you found yourself saying, you know, can't we just start this decade over? Can't we just reboot? Because things are a mess right now. Or maybe you're experiencing some consequences of some past destructive behaviors or bad choices, and whether that's in your health or financial or legal or relational. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, I guess this is it. You know, I'm getting what I deserve, and it's all downhill from here. And I don't know if the world is ending, but I feel like my world certainly is ending. And while we're all going through a shared painful season, in addition to our own individual issues, I want you to know that this is not the end. God has not written you off. He loved you before the earth was created. He loves you now, and he will never stop loving you. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, yeah, lovely. I've heard that before. In fact, I've heard it a million times before, and frankly, it doesn't feel like God loves me. I mean, my life is out of control right now. I mean, doesn't the Bible say God won't put more on your plate than you can handle? Well, actually, no, the Bible does not say that. In fact, in my experience, God frequently allows more than we can handle to fall on our plate so that we can recognize our need for him, so that we recognize, you know what? I don't got this. It's to recognize that he is God and we're not, and we need to turn to God for help. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 2 says, I have heard all about you, Lord. I am filled with awe by your amazing works. In this time of our deep need, help us again as you did in years gone by, and in your anger, remember mercy. When we ask God for help, we enter into a relationship with God. And through prayer and Bible reading, we learn that God's mercy is available. And God is more than just willing. God is eager to be merciful to you in whatever you are going through. Now, sometimes that means he lightens the burden. But other times it means he makes you stronger so that you can carry that burden. Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 and 23 read, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. So if you need it, I pray that you will ask God for his mercy today. And may God show you his mercy in an unexpected but very welcome way. Thank you for watching, and may God bless you.